electronic chain reaction to the whole pack wall of your office. The next thing I knew, I was staring at a computer network, monitors, and television. Just wait a minute. Helena Robert, loves wait. Jake. That was the access code to their empire. I'd say it was luck if it wasn't so ridiculous. Was it supposed to be funny, Jake? No, if you just let me. Here's the real killer. That arsenal of business weapons was flashing out the latest stock purchases for Distant Sun. Spencer and Jake are Distant Sun. You bet. Pretty stunning, huh? They're... Yeah, you've misunderstood everything. Liar! You pretended to love me. You asked me to marry you while you were destroying my family. All the work that Spencer and I have done has been good work. You and Spencer are a couple of cold-hearted, backstabbing weasels. You belong in cages, and I hope they lock you up for a long, long time to come. That would make this world a better place to be, not your bogus charity. It is real. You are wrong. Stop it! Tell the truth for once in your miserable life. Everything I have done, I have done for you. You pig! That is the biggest lie of all! over, Spencer. You're never going to be able to pull off your hateful plan now. And you, you've hurt me more than I ever thought possible. I hope you're satisfied. Hey. Let me help you. No, you can't. Get no, her out of here. Don't you get anywhere near her. I'm sorry I put you all through this. Most of you tried to warn me, but I was a fool. I thought that love and acceptance could change anyone. Even you, Jake. Get me out of here. Belina, wait! Jake, don't! Paulina has guts. Looks like she saw the real Jake just in time. This is the wildest wedding I ever went to. You want me to handle this, don't you? Yes. Now is not the time to make amends. Now let's get out of here before a lynching party starts. You're right. You're not going anywhere, Jake. Left. They've gone over to Corey's to try and drum up some... Oh, no, there's Jake. How dare you barge in here? You'll never learn, will you, Jake? I have to see her. Why? To turn the knife a few more times? Get out of here before I call the police. I don't care if you call in National Guard, Rachel. I am not leaving until I see Paulina. You're not listening, Jake. Paulina has come to her senses, and she doesn't want to see you ever again. She loves me, and I know it. You're crazy. I have to explain to her what really happened. We know what happened. You got caught. Now get out of here. No! Oh, Jake, Paulina will see you when and if she's ready. And you better I go. I am not leaving until I talk to Paulina. Paulina! You held again? Call the police. Polina! Why don't you talk to me? I have nothing to say to you. you just listen to me, okay? Why? There's nothing that could change my mind but about there you. Is. There's one thing for sure. on CTV's W5 with Eric Malley. This summer, another world-class drama. I wouldn't take this man if he were the last snake on Earth. She left him at the altar. Don't be wondering for you, we'd be married! And he blames her mother. He will strip you of everything that you love. He's found the perfect way to get revenge. I am going to take over your company. Another world of suspense, NBC Daytime. 
After I tell Vicky that I still love her and that I want her back, I'll let her decide. Now, who do you think she's going to choose? Perhaps I may be of service. Did they, did they move Mrs. Harrison? She's gone. So, where in the mountains are we going? California, Colorado? No. Much further than that, I'm afraid. We're going abroad. A place where Victoria can have peace and where no one will find her until she's well. Every legality I can before it goes to a vote. Yeah. Hey, honey. Yeah, you know. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, we do. Thanks. Hey. How you doing? Oh, right. how is Rena? Okay. Good. Lost a little late, actually. Oh, oh good for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Hello, Rachel. Okay, meeting starts in 20 minutes. We can watch from here. Are you there, Rachel? I'm, uh, I'm having trouble hearing you. Perhaps it's an emotional block. You're pushing. I don't like this. No, I just wanted to remind you of my offer. I haven't forgotten. Oh, just in case. I'll vote my 10% of the stock with you. You consent to be seen with me in public. I have no intention of helping you. Sorry, Rachel, I didn't hear your answer. Are you ready to save yourself and your family? I'm here, folks. The next chairman of the board. and I know this must be tough for you, so I will make it as pleasant as possible for the family. No hard feelings. No hard feelings. <gasps> Rachel, don't. I will not rest don't until I run you and your partner out of this town on a rail. I will do everything in my power to see that happen. Well, now, that's the thing about power, isn't it, Rachel? It changes. Next time you snap your fingers, you'll be lucky if you get away from it. Look, you slimy little... Quiet down. The computer has just logged the last of the proxies. I'm going to get a final tally in three or four minutes. And I am pleased to announce that Corey Enterprises will continue to operate under Mrs. Corey's oh, current God. board of directors. Yes! <laughs> Service as Chief Executive Officer. Thank you for your time. This meeting is officially adjourned. What happened? What the hell happened? What happened? What happened, Mr. Magnanimous? No hard feelings, huh? Let's shake hands. Stuff it, Iris. It was a terrible accident. Okay, so it was an accident. What happened? I don't know how to tell you this. Not you. Who's there? I said, who's there?
man's plans for his equally cheating wife are about to backfire. Don't miss Scene of the Crime, tonight on CTV. This summer, another world-class drama running for his life. The place is surrounded, there is nowhere to go. Accused of a crime he did not commit. You'll never take me alive! A fugitive risks freedom for the one he loves. You've got to get yourself up. Will she turn him in or set him free? Let the girl go. Another world of suspense this week on NBC. You're absolutely certain she can't reach an outside line. The line only rings here. As you requested, no calls will go in or out of her room. Very good. Oh, honey, I think it's so wonderful. <laughs> I could kill you for not telling me sooner. Give me out. Oh, well, we couldn't <laughs> tell you. <gasps> we didn't want to upset Jen and Dean, you know? Well, I guess that's wise. But they... Somebody please get me out of here. Yo, Maggie! Let's make tracks. Maggie has been grounded for eight years. You can't do that to me. She's not allowed to see anyone until she's 25. But I'll be old and lonely. You'll be grateful. You know what? She is going to be grateful because we're opening for the Grateful Dead. I'm taking Maggie on tour with us. Come on. Oh, yeah. Out of the question. Well, I don't really think that's up to you. I think that's Maggie's choice. Come on. Yeah, I want Dean. Maggie? I want Dean. Maggie? Come on. I want Dean. Maggie? Maggie, why don't you go upstairs and start your summer reading now? What, are you into mind control now? Why don't you just give me a lobotomy and get it over with, huh? If you want me to go, I'll go. You'll never see me again. Is that what you want? Stephen, I think it's time to take a bath. No, Grandma. Sweetheart, I can see the dirt under your fingernails from here. You let Nana give you a bath. <laughs> Wish you'd let him call me Donna. See you later. Hi, Mommy. You're cool. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'll call you as soon as I have something. Frankie, you are a lifesaver. Maybe one day you'll say the same of me. Hello, Frankie. Or should I say, Mrs. Winthrop? The name rolls over the tongue. A little tart, perhaps. The name is Frank. What's in a name? I do not want your help. It is not going to endear you to me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Oh, great. Now my life is complete. Hello. A family reunion. A touching tableau. I feel... But yeah, come in, Frankie. It's in Carl's handwriting. What does it say? It says he has some new information that could lead me to Vicky. I blow his fuse. Maggie is just a kid. Rachel will not let her do it. What are we gonna do? Really? Maggie can't cut the album, huh? Hmm, what a shame. What did Kevin want to talk to you about? He wants to hire us to get the goods on Carl Hutchins. Carl? He says that Carl is giving Lorna a hard time. I don't know why I'm here. Yes, you do. You do. take to get you to leave town and never come back, Carl? I'm sure that if we work together, we can put Carl away for good. But that's what we thought the last time. Well, our mistake was trying to nail him head on. 
Maybe we should look into his business dealings. That's not going to be simple. Look, Carl has ruined lives, and yet he is still a free man terrorizing anyone he pleases. It looks like Felicia is his current target. I have a feeling we're going to win this time. And I have a feeling if we're not extremely cautious, if we underestimate Carl one bit, this will all blow up in our faces. Can't stay away from him, can you? Him, him, I don't have to explain him? myself to yeah, you. Yeah, well, you could have saved me a trip down oh, really? here. Really? Now you're pretending like you're not hey, interested. Guys, it was your cabin, look, Matt. Your you were there. You're the eyewitness, right? Yeah, Matt, that's why I, I feel responsible. Look, uh, responsible. I figured you would take off down away? KBAY with a scoop. You think it, uh, ratings is all I care about. What? Is tell me right? you're not going to break this uh, story in the late news? Of course I'm going to. I knew it. What kind of a guy are you? All right, forget it. Hold on. You guys move to your respective corners. Ho! I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go. I haven't seen anyone. No one has been here. So if you'll excuse me, I'd really like some privacy now, okay? Thank you. Hey, there he is. Freeze, buddy, or I'll shoot. Frank, did you get him? Another world-class mystery. He'd do anything to keep his wife, even drug her. Something is very wrong here. Let's see that she takes it as long as she doesn't know what she's taking. To keep his wife and brother apart. Damn it! How the hell could he find out we're in Switzerland? Yeah, this is the break you've been waiting for. How long will he hold her hostage? Another world of mystery, NBC Daytime. Help! You know, not anyone else would say this to you, Carl. But if you remember, you lost Paris. And if you're not careful, you're going to lose Ryan, too. Go to hell, Fanny. I do hold up my end of things. Just follow my example, Rachel. It's in everybody's best interest. Good night. enough out here for you? Hi. Do you know what day it is today? Yes, I do. I can't believe that it's been a year since Daddy died. Can you? I found him. I don't think you heard me, but I kept on saying that I was going to be a really great daughter and take care of Felicia. Boy, I've done a real bang-up job, haven't I? Wait a second. None of this is your fault, Lorna. Pleasant greeting. Hello, Iris. Goodbye, Carl. You are not welcome in this house. <gasps> yes, he is. I invited him. Finally. 
How does it feel to look into the eyes of a man you left for dead? What are you doing here? Leave. Leave here this instant. I don't leave until I've returned the favor. Now, as I understand it, your father had business dealings with Mackenzie Corey and my own father. Is that correct? My father was betrayed no, no, by please, both men. Please, bear with me. Now, all the details of this arrangement are, to the best of your knowledge, still to be found in a safety deposit box in Central America. How do you know that? Three keys are required to open that box. You have two of them. And you have the third. Mac Corey and Andrew Hutchins destroyed my father. And I vowed on his deathbed that I would fulfill his dream and nothing, nothing will stop me. Oh, good on you, mate. Stop right there, Rain! They said freeze! You set me up! My son is tenacious. What can I say? Help! Help! Is anyone out there? Help me! Someone! Help! TV's got Scene of the Crime tomorrow. world-class mystery. He drugged his wife, held her hostage, and she's had enough. Money, clothes. I'm out of here. She's got 50 ways to leave her husband if she can get past him. Victoria. How far will she go to escape? I want to make love. I have to do this. Another world of mystery, NBC Daytime. And to be some bird in a cage just because Grant's insecure. You're not going to be a bird in the cage. He's given up everything to come here and tend to you and watch over you. Like a hawk. Like a husband who loves you and cares about you and who understands the commitments he made to you when he married you. You and Ryan have put him through hell and he still loves you. So stop shoving Ryan down his throat. All right, I'm sorry, I'll drop it. Mm. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go on a secret trip. We're going to go home. Wow, I, I just cannot believe that the school is going to give me class credit for singing on your album. You know, and, and don't worry about Rachel. I can handle her. Oh, you and me, Dean, we're going all the way. Mwah. Come on, Arthur. Drive the car. I'm putting into practice the lesson that my father taught me.
Alicia. You make the most enchanting little barmaid, but by God, you know, the service is a bit slack. You know, Carl, I keep telling you that you're not welcome here, but you insist on coming back. If you do, I'm afraid you're just not going to get very good service. It's inhospitable, love. I mean, what have I done to deserve such scorn? Harassing Lorna works every time. Uh huh. Oh, it's just a friendly chat. We were reminiscing about old times. Carl, leave her alone. Do as Felicia says, or I'll get a restraining order against you, and if you so much as even look at the lovely leggy Lorna, I'll bust you. Give us a kiss. The game will be over, and, and we won't be able to go back to Bay City. Is he why? Very careful that we don't make it. now accepts midwifery cast. Many OBGYNs have a midwife on their staff. And, and home birth, well, that is as natural and logical an extension. It, no, this is only logical to me. There you are. You're <laughs> hairy! Yes. Look at you! You always said you no. wanted to see me in a beard, so I thought oh, I'd surprise hi, you. Baby. How are the two of you? Mm, oh, dry heaving nicely, thank you. Oh, it looks very good baby. with this shade. Too. Good, good. Yes. Okay. Rachel. I need to speak to Maggie when she gets home. If Ian Rain has jumped bail, he might have tried to contact her without your knowledge. Wait a minute. Ian Rain jumped bail? We don't know that for sure. You're not sure? You didn't have the guy under surveillance? We can't watch everybody. What are you, what are you stupid, Kevin, or you just don't care? I care a lot, Then Jane. you must be stupid because you let a kidnapper escape through your incompetent assistant DA I don't hands. have to justify myself to you. You'll do a lot more than that if Paulina is here. Where is she? She didn't go with him, did she? Nobody knows. Something. This is your fault, all of you! Yeah, I wouldn't forget a woman like that. Last night she was asking about flights to Central America. All right. When's your next flight to Mexico? Tell me, it's the ugliest thing that you've ever seen. What is it, too big, too small? Come on, what? Tell me. It's an engagement ring. Are you out of your mind? You know, you know what I plan to ask her? Oh, dare I ask. I want to put this in a piece of pie. <laughs> you like the idea. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Not chosen for Charlene to give birth in an abandoned warehouse either. But so what do you what do you what do you say? Th that I should count my blessing? This is insane. Cass, home births happen all the time, especially now with more qualified midwives around. I I don't want a midwife. The very term conjures the 15th century to me. I want a board certified physician with 18 letters after his name. Yeah. God forbid. 18, right. What if there are complications? I, I, I hear you. Huh? I hear you. I hear you. Uh, listen, I tell you what. I'll sit down with both of you, and we'll talk the whole thing oh. through, okay? The oh. whole thing, all the Ooh. process. Yeah, Thank heavens, a man of reason. No, wait a second. I, I did want to check with you about one other thing, the no, Lamaze method. What do you think you. about the Lamaze method? I... What am I going to do, Kelsey? I know. Huh? I'm going to pig out. That always helps. Oh, that's me. I'll be back in a minute. Excuse me. Um, that blueberry pie right there, that's got, it's got my name on it. <laughs> well, I was supposed to wait to give it to you until the guy said, but... Well, okay, since you asked for it. What guy? What, what are you talking about? Some guy outside wants you to have that piece of pie. What? 
Yeah. A diamond ring?